When you get a checkup, your doctor usually takes your temperature and checks your blood pressure, but Hattie D. Jamal learned there's another way to gauge your health, and it's right at your fingertips. Our fingers come in handy when getting someone's attention and giving directions, but experts say our fingernails can also point to potential health problems. For some skin diseases, nail findings can be one piece of the puzzle that can aid in getting a diagnosis. To learn which nail issues to watch out for, we turn to dermatologist Dr. Leah Swanson at the Mayo Clinic. First on her list, pitting, which is fine pinpoint depressions across the nail. Pitting can be seen in a couple different skin conditions, including psoriasis and an autoimmune form of hair loss. More frequently, patients are seen for hair loss or a rash, and then we examine their nails and incidentally find this because it's subtle. Next up, clubbing. That's when the tip of the finger is enlarged, causing an over curvature of the nail. She says this can happen when your oxygen is low. Like congenital heart disease and also cystic fibrosis. It can also be seen with some systemic inflammatory conditions like inflammatory bowel disease. And next, a horizontal line across your nail is called a Bowes line. If you have it on one fingernail, an injury probably caused it. If Bose lines affect all of the fingernails, more likely there was a systemic cause. Systemic causes could be things like infection, fever, or systemic medications like chemotherapy. Next, half and half nails are when there is a pale or white discoloration on the nail half closest to the cuticle. This can be seen in patients with chronic kidney disease. Something else that we see when the white or pale discoloration affects almost the entire nail, that can be associated with long-standing liver disease or liver cirrhosis, and that's called Terry's nails. Finally, what if your nails have ridges like this? She says not to worry, that's normal. There can be longitudinal ridging or fissures that occur across the length of the nail. These are usually fairly shallow and they affect all nails to a minor degree. And that can be common with aging. Dr. Swanson says overall, don't worry too much about your nails. If there's something that is new and bothersome or uncomfortable to you, then I would bring it up with your maybe primary care doctor or a dermatologist who has a little bit more expertise in the nails. Scratching the surface of our health through our fingernails.